They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man, America F1. America F1, coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Law. America F1. What's up, Mike? How you doing today? What's going on, Sherman? We've got great news today about your boy from Ferrari. And Out the dough. This is you like. This is what you live for. Oh, I love this stuff because it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is what you live if, for. If okay, there's two rumors floating around. Uh, one, uh, Fred Lazar is going to uh, leave Sauber and go take over because it's basically it's the same job he has at Sauber is mm-hmm. the job that's open. Or I like that rumor. Uh, the be- the better rumor, in my opinion, would be Ross Braun coming back to Ferrari as the principal. No, that's not going to happen. He said he's guarding. He's going. They to They always say that crap until they, until they show up with until Ferrari decides to show up with a a, a Brinks truck full of money. <laughs> I would love <clears throat> Ross Braun back in Formula One. Well, he only wins. He every place That's he's he been. Does. That's all he does. When he was at he remember he started off at the Benetton team, which wasn't much of a team when he got there, and he he's great at building the team because he he doesn't micromanage his staff like mm. I think. Well, that that might be the main problem at, at Ferrari is they don't have enough they don't they don't trickle their leadership down. It's not a team really. It's a dictatorship in a lot of ways. Like when when Arriva Benny was there, they said he had he f- feared everybody into everything. So but, <laughs> you know. So but is that one of the reasons why they fired uh, or not fired? He resigned. I'm sorry. Okay. He resigned. But not <laughs> was because gun to his head, he probably. wasn't ruthless enough. That's the that's the. Uh, because the guy who, who runs Fiat now, John, whatever, Eklund is his name, I think. Yeah. He didn't hire Arriva Benny. I mean, right. he didn't hire Benito. He, yeah, right. the, the former CEO who died um, hired Benito, and it wasn't his guy. And he was, you know, you, it, this happens a lot, especially in sports, where, because basically the principal is like the head coach. Okay. That's basically what they do. And if you ever see, um, like when a new owner buys a football team, he instantly fires everybody. He fires the GM, he fires the yeah, coach, and he yeah. gets his own. He gets his own guys in there. But you know, the one thing I um, was thinking about, and they were saying, you know, you know, Bonato, he's been there since 1995. I mean, my God, man. Yeah, but he was just a designer when he when he went there. But he wasn't. Here's a guy. Who, he wasn't. He wasn't in. C, he wasn't a senior management. He climbed up the ladder over the years. Yeah, so. but he rose through the ranks. And just think about. The people that are left, the jealousy. When someone rises through the ranks all the way to the top guy, there's always that jealousy and envy. Uh, why wasn't it me? Why wasn't it me? Um, but in his case, they just say he just, you know, because let's be honest, the strategy was really horrible. Oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's it was bad. basically his fault. He's, the, he's the, you know, if he was the head coach and, the, and they kept fumbling the football. Oh, they you know, <laughs> you kept fumbling the ball. <laughs> um, the coach gets shown the dough, which is what happened to Benito. But this is the mm-hmm. problem with Ferrari. They don't have the senior leadership in the Fiat Corporation. I think they try to micromanage the team. Mm-hmm. And when Jean Tot was running that place, he insulated everyone from them. Where I mean, let's run down through all the different principalities or principles they've had lately. Well, there's been like six in the last 10 years. Okay. Um, run, run through it. Well, Jean Tot was the principal from the early 90s to the late 2000s. And then Domenicali came in instead of, and, and at the time, Ross Braun was the uh, technical director. Okay. And they didn't offer him the, uh, uh, the, big, the big job. And he thought, you know, it was n- the next step in line. So he, he, wasn't he, in with the family he bounced or, and went to uh, he Honda. Wasn't in with the family. Ah. He bounced yeah. and went to Honda, which they which turned into Braun, which we all know what happened in 2009. Then it became the Mercedes team, mm-hmm. which the second that team got good, they showed him the door. <laughs> so, really, yeah, Ross Braun. It was his team. He ran that team from 2010 to 2013, and right. then a Wolf came in and bought a chunk of the team and elbowed him out the door. Where did so, Wolf make his money? I mean, where did candles. He... What candles? Like. <laughs> I love you candles. Like, let's light it. <laughs> when he was a teenager, he there was a uh, something in Austria, like a, a get-together, and he went out and bought all these candles and sold them at the thing and made a fortune. 
Huh. <laughs> so he's an entrepreneur. Right? That's right. That's I how you do it. No. Okay. So Jean Tot was the team principal during the Schumacher era, mm -hmm. and for some reason, uh, Ferrari. This is where Ferrari lost the plot. Was they they let they let they broke up the band because they didn't want to pay Schumacher whatever crazy amount of money he wanted. Shit, he was getting a hundred million dollars a year at one point, Schumacher. Well no, he was making like thirty something million in his in his no. salary. So but I remember they're saying like, you know, overall he was making a hundred million dollars. Well yeah, but that's with all his endorsements and but all that. That's way back then. Oh yeah. So he was him and uh Michael Jordan were the two highest paid athletes of their day. I mean they're just people are just now catching up to to that, those salaries. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. That just shows you the impact of Michael Schumacher. That dude was the, he was the, he's still the goat. I mean, well, Lewis Hamilton's a goat. Uh, Lewis Senna Hamilton's was a goat. Senna's a goat. Yeah. You know, but anyways, getting back Prost, to. Prost was really good. Prost was have, pretty good. He didn't Nigel have Mason. the uh, charisma that the other three had. Yeah, but he was the, he was, he was the best at, they called him the professor because he was probably the smartest driver ever. Mm. So. But anyways, so John Tott leaves. Then Ross Braun, I mean, Michael Schumacher quits. Okay. John Tott leaves, and then he goes, he runs, he was the, the president of the FIA for a long time. Mm -hmm. They put Domenicali in, which pisses off Ross Braun, so Ross Braun bounced. Then they had a couple interim guys in between Domenicali and Arriva Benny, who were just like temporary. And then they had... This is where the this is where Ferrari lo loses me every time. They okay. had a rival Benny, and he brought them back. Yeah. And in the 2018 season, it's true they did make too many mistakes, and they lost the championship. But they were leading, like for, yeah, pretty, what most of the most half of the year, season, like three quarters of the season. Yeah, and the wheels fell off at right. the German Grand Prix when um, when Vettel made that mistake, and he was leading the race, yes. and he just you know he made a mistake. Mistakes which, happen. Ever since then. Uh, Vettel has been like, you know, just, he got, he had shown the door. Mm -hmm. Um, he, uh, and he, of course he doesn't, they, they told him before he could go get a, a better ride. And now he's out of formula one, which makes no sense. Yeah, and Ricardo is, is sitting on the sidelines. Ricardo, 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 anyways, Ricardo. he's actually, somebody posted that he was on a cover of Red Bull, like a drink, yeah. like a package with your boy, um, Max Verstappen, champion for Verstappen, stupid? and him together already. So they're already saying they're sh already showing Checo out the door. Isn't that BS? They, I, they, I, like Checo. I I think because Checo, I think he just signed a two-year contract. But remember, a Formula One contract. This is his last year, right here. This no, no, no. Two years. Got, no, he's got two more years. No, on the contract. no. This last year. No, no. He signed the year. contract this year for two more years, for 2023 and 2024. I thought it was for 22 and 23. No. Okay. Anyways, all right, all right. Um, but Checo's a, he's a great number two driver. He's a great number two. Um, and Ricciardo is is a better. I think I don't know what the hell happened to Ricciardo at McLaren. Anyways, getting back to Arrive of Benny. They, Arrive of Benny. They almost win the championship in 2018, and then they fire the guy. They did. You know, which is like the dumbest decision. I, I, I there you are with that damn phone again. <laughs> <laughs> know why you don't turn that damn thing off all right all right anyways just every time it's so annoying. okay it's off god so okay now that sherman had got to vent it's always anyways. about me when you're doing mistakes so then they put benito me. in 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 charge in 2019 um and now they showed him the door don't you think continuity means something i mean <sighs> look at red Duh. same guy christian hana he's in charge that's it same guy over at Mercedes, Toto Wolf, he's in charge. That's it. I mean, something, and even with the horrible Haas team, American they have Steiner, team, and they he's have Steiner, and he's there. You know, I, I, you know, I just, I just think there's something to be said about continuity. I think there's something to be said about you know who's in charge. I think there's something to be said about you know the style and leadership that this person brings, and we're gonna work with it, and we're gonna overcome any um, deficiencies on our team. And keep moving forward. Well, I guarantee you, if they hire Ross Braun, and I'm, I give it a 50-50, 50 50 shot that Ross Braun will come back and, and run go, the team. Uh, 80 20 no. Uh, I, I think I'm, he's going to, they're going to offer him a job. They're definitely going to offer him a job. Because this is, this is my whole thing about Ross Braun. Every place he's, he's gone, he's been successful. 
You're right. He doesn't micromanage his team. He's a, a dedicated leader. He if, puts people in charge of their thing and go do your job. If you, know? you had to pinpoint what is wrong, what's the core thing that's wrong with Ferrari? Why do they keep just losing and making so many mistakes? What's the core? I think it was because I think this micromanaged over there. I don't think people are put in charge. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm, I don't. I don't work on the team, and, <clears throat> and getting people <clears throat> not to make mistakes. I mean, Jesus. I mean, how do you do that? I mean, mistakes happen, but you, I mean, strategy mistakes can't happen over and over again when you have all the information at your fingertips. You you can see what other teams are doing before you do it. You can either react to what they do, or you can go in earlier than what they do. You have all the data from the tires, the heat in the tires, how your guys doing on lap times you have everything at your fingertips how do you keep continually messing that up I don't, I don't, they just, like i said in the 20 that, that 2018 season they just gave that championship away are you going for the beard look right now uh, i i, 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 I don't have to work today just look whoa oh do you have to shave for work yeah <laughs> i do too but <laughs> at a bar dinner i thought they would like to um, your look. no 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 oh, all right Anyways, anything else you got to say about this um, uh, Ferrari thing? I think I think the conspiracy theory would be Jean Top back to Ferrari. Is he, <laughs> is he still? He's still alive. But does he still go to the races? Is he still oh, well, he, in, he he in the know. He, he was the president of the FIA for I think about ten years, and I think he quit a couple years ago. Okay, so, so he's just sitting at he's back? he's sitting at the house. He's making lots of money. Probably. Ah, he already made his money. He don't need any making money. So, why, but okay, let's get some new blood in Ferrari. Another. Person who I don't think anyone's is um, Sebastian Vettel. No, okay, but they could bring Sebastian Vettel back because he's better than science all day long. Okay, um, I like science. Oh God, what's like his science. name? He used to run I the like Benetton team. He, he got he got remember they got banned in the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix for the the Renault team. Why would they bring him back? Benet, now what's his goddamn name? Ah, uh, I don't know, but don't say God's name in vain. Um. Hold on a second. Look this oh, quick. We're going, we're going to, to the phone. The going phone, to the phone. The phone that always rings every time because <laughs> he does not know how to work. Uh, so now he's going to be looking up. Look, look at the, the applause. The wait. The wait. Team principles. Drum roll, please. We're waiting for Mike to look up something because he can't remember the name, right? Oh, I can't uh, even remember the name. Huh. Because he got a baby brain. He got brain like baby. So What's his god dang name? I have the dumb box. But how can you look up into the dumb box if you don't even <laughs> know what you're looking for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> team principles. That's right. Hey, give me another uh, laugh on that. If you, How can you look up something? If you don't know what you're looking for. Bria Tori. <laughs> what? Bria Tori. That was his, that's his name. Bria Tori? Yeah. Flavio Bria Tori. Flavio. Let's see how old he is. Let's see if he would even consider coming back. So that's your... Whoa. He's 72, so he's about the same age as Ross Brown. Okay, so you're saying he's he could come back? He also? did it twice. He, he He's the one who was the uh, principal for the... the um, the Renault team, when it was called the Benetton team in the, in the 90s, had Ross Braun, it had Pat Simmons, and it had Rory Byrne, the designer, which they all went to Ferrari, except for Flavio. Quit Flavio. For, he quit for a few years and then came back to the team and brought him. He came, he and, they, and, they and they won two championships with. Uh, started doing romance books. Flavio Biotori didn't do <laughs> romance books. <laughs> but, anyways, that would be my, my two picks for the. That would, you would definitely win with either of those guys i don't know about fred lazar he was mm -hmm. he uh was at renault for a while and i think he ran a f2 uh team for a while because i think he had charles leclerc on his f2 team charles leclerc. um i don't know i mean i think he might have ran the renault f2 team so that's those are your three names well, I mean, I, like I, I, I think it's going to be Fred Lazar because he's, you know, he's already so linked with Ferrari yeah. anyways because it's really... And that's a way better job than the Audi... Uh, I don't Audi know. The Audi team, the Audi, they're going to... Is that 26, I think? Yeah, 26. They're going to throw a lot of money at that team. They have to. They have to, but for, it's still Ferrari. I mean, they get money just for being there. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much. It's the red car. I mean, it's the red. It's the red. It's the red car. It's the red car. And when Vettel went there, he's like, everything's red. It's the biggest <laughs> fan base in Formula One. Yeah, it's, they're, the, they're the Yankees of Formula One. But So I, I do would like to see them win again. Just not next year. I want to see Mercedes. So let's get Lewis our ninth championship. But, you know, <laughs> it's ninth eighth, championship. but it's really the ninth. We all know it. But I'd like to see him get that championship. And then he can ride off into the sunset, you know, happy. And even if he didn't. Um, retire. At least he could just like kick back and just help um, his causes and help your boy. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, how much longer is he going to want to Russell be a How much racer? longer is he going to want to, you know, well, do he that? He signed another contract. So that's, what? That's a, another contract. So that's another at least two, two to three years. Well, every time they sign a contract with him, it's usually a two-year deal. For yeah. So that's another two years. So I, I just hope he he can mercy. I just hope. Red Bull doesn't win next year. That's all. That's all. <laughs> I don't really care who wins. Just not Max Verstappen. For stupid is what he said. Is his name? But other than that, anything else you want to say about this Ferrari thing? We'll make it a quick one today. You know? No, I, I think I think we have. I put, I put out the two names that are probably going to be the principal, and then Flavio Brittori would be a uh, a slam dunk. He, okay. But I don't know, man, because he got banned from Formula One for life, I think. What? Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring back the guy who no one Well, the crash gate. That was the whole thing. When they, uh, they had what's-his-name. So he's not coming back, Mike. <clears throat> they had what's-his-name. <clears throat> no, but they let Pat Simmons come you, back. You so always cough. I noticed that. You have like some – first of all, you work out every day. Not every day. Most Just days. Just about every day. But you're always coughing. Why is that? Do you need a humidifier in your house? Or? No. Is there something going on? Maybe some type of different vitamins you should be drinking, or you know, you should probably look into some like um, tea or some green lozenges, tea or lozenges, like that. lozenges, oh, yeah, lozenges or something. Because it's super annoying that you always have your phone ringing or <laughs> you're coughing all the time. You oh know? my god! And you know, I mean, if I wasn't like not scared of COVID, <laughs> if I'd I wasn't be, like here with like a bubble, bubble wrap, you know, <laughs> bubble wrap, because you're always. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, I think that's a great show today. What are we going to do? We what's our show going to be next week? We still haven't done. Well, our we'll talk ending. about. We'll talk about. The, uh, hopefully, by next week, we'll know who the principal is. Okay. And um, should we do a season-ending show? Because we still haven't done that. We can do that. Pick our favorite races. Pick our favorite driver. Pick. Uh, you know what the worst race was. Blah 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 blah. Well, they had the uh, the drivers uh, the test after the the Abu Dhabi race, mm-hmm. and. All these crazy rules and these contracts, and Alonzo got to drive the Aston Martin for the yes. first time with all the stickers taken off. Yeah, it. it was, was so cool. bizarre. I was but like, "It was cool though." And he's like in a black suit, and the same thing with yeah. Gasly. Yeah. He, he couldn't wear his. Uh, it was like, and then um, uh, Sergeant got to get in the car for the Williams. I don't know if he's any good or not, but well, one thing I found out about Sergeant: here's another rich boy. He's he's not a guy who. They're getting him there for his just talent alone. His family. Yeah, those days money. are those days chemical, are pretty much like over. A chemical company or something like that. But so you have to realize that those days are fucking over. It's like pardon my French, but the uh, the to, days to, of talent just rising. Well, because there's no way to, it's so expensive to do it now. It's like to do a karting season when you're like 15, 16 years old is like a hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollars. It's insane. I almost think that. What some of these old drivers should do is make a pathway for the youth of tomorrow. Well, they have driver Park academies, but it's still yeah. you, to get there. Like, like the only reason uh, Hamilton is in Formula One is because of Ron Dennis from McLaren. When right. he was ten years old, he was at a kart race, and Hamilton walked up to him. For you one I'm day. gonna drive for you one day, and he did. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, but from that moment on, he. Everything was paid for by Ron Dennis. The so, power of positive thinking. And his crazy father Animation. working three jobs, yeah. you know. I, I mean, I, if I knew my son had the talent, I'd work 20 jobs yeah. so he could be in Formula One. I but it, that was the, it was, it's a pipe dream, I, though. I'd love to be there. Dude, Let's you know go. how many people up at the track mortgage their house for their stupid kid to go drive around in circles thinking they're going to NASCAR or Formula One or something? It was ridiculous. Really? It was ridiculous. It was like... 
the worst thing I ever experienced was a talent contest. Where what? the a talent contest like, like people were singing and singing dancing and, and dancing? stuff. Oh my God! These mothers were nuts. Their daughters couldn't hit a hit hit that note with a pole vault. They couldn't dance. They couldn't sing. They had no talent. And they're screaming at their kids. Oh, it was horrible, dude. Horrible. <laughs> oh man. Now I have no idea what that has to do with Formula One or either. getting into racing. But it but was it, a funny story. It was a funny story. But yeah. that's the whole point. Is like to, the pathway to Formula One is like there's 20 seats. Mm. So. And you're, you'd be better off, seriously, going into NASCAR because there's 40 seats there and there's three different So You can be in the trucks, the Xfinity Series, right. and Cup. You're going to make a good money. money. You're going to make a good living. Yeah. Um, and, and all those. And if, if you win, you make a really good living. So, yeah. so what we're saying is my son, we're going to put my son into NASCAR. Yeah. Well, we got to get, get him out to the track. Well, how old is he now? He's 11. Is that past? Is he past already? No, he can. No, 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 no. He's, it's fine. It's just you realize there's the ki- a lot of the kids. They start at the track when they're like five and six and seven. But they 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 made a rule recently. You have to be, I think, eight or, or above. So he's, he's so three he's, years he's, senior to getting started. Yeah, but it's too late now. We'd have to do it. We have to do it next year because it's too cold. Yeah. Well, I, I think we should introduce him into it. Well, my bro- I, I was teasing my brother about doing it, but when he found out it was five hundred bucks for the day for the you know, that's go- a lot. It is, but it's like one day. But it's like you're not getting the. Do I a, get to drive too? Maybe. Uh, uh, but it's like you don't understand. Then I like, can prove that I know about tires. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about. He still won't know anything about tires. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Running joke, but you know, not I know funny. nothing about tires. Not funny at all. <laughs> but no, we'll, we'll put you in a. But I, I know a guy who's a championship driver, so you're going to get undivided attention the whole day instead of going to a, a, the school where there's only a couple guys and they don't really give you that attention. And the car is going to be better too. So okay, well let's wrap up this show. Let's give me your two predictions for Ferrari again before we wrap up. Um, I think it's going to be Fred, Fred Lazar. He's probably the because he's 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 a proven team principal. So, but I think I think Ross Braun would be the best. I think they should have picked Ross Braun in two thousand and eight, but they picked uh, uh, Dominicali instead. So, is it because they don't like Americans? He's not American. Is he's it British. Because they don't like British, like you. Well, he, I'm, I I hate the British, but I I think they should put the British guy in. Okay. He just has a proven track record, but I don't. It, it depends on. <clears throat> Does he want that job? Because it's like not the greatest job in the world. Sixteen hours a day, seven days a week. You know, yeah. the, in every there's blow torches pointed at you all the time. Any time that team makes it the even minute mistake, that's all we do. Is the talk media, about we're it. just gonna talk shit about yeah. it until the end of time. Yeah, that's true. So to wrap up the show, um, next week we are gonna do our season-ending show. I know everybody else has probably done their season-ending shows, but. We like to take some time and let it soak in. And, you know, the, the the thing is, is that each day without Formula One is a horrible day. Yeah, but we don't have, but the, <laughs> the really off is. season's only two months now. It's it great? three months. I love it. It's like, well, when was I the last race? they start in February, right? No, the, the first test is in February. Yeah, that's and so what I'm They saying. only have a three day test this year. <sighs> we could go to the test. It's in Abu Dhabi. <sighs> I don't want to go to the test. Why? For what? I don't want to see that. I don't even. I don't think I, I. I think I always watch the first day of testing, and then I watch the last day. And testing doesn't mean anything because most of the good teams they're tanking. You know, no, 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 not tank. anymore. Not not with the. Uh, the you don't know if they're turning their engines up. That's that's one thing. Yeah, they're tanking. But a lot of times they're just they're doing the. They 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 fill the car full of gas and go on. They basically do entire tests to see what the car runs like in, in a, in a in a race simulation. They mm-hmm. rarely do. Uh, put the, the the sticky tires on and uh, the the reds and go for a qualifying lap. They're trying to make their car. That's why every when they when they have the Saturday practice right before qualifying, they mm-hmm. always do the long runs, and you know who is going to do what. Well, in the race. In the race. Right. So. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, I can't believe they only have a tell three. your friends, like, subscribe, send us money. Send we can go money, to the race. Comment. Um, because, you know, we're bringing you good content every week about Formula One. And we're also, you know, looking at Mike's beard and, you know, his sideburns. And 
You know, he's and, jealous and, of the, and, jealous of the mutton chops. I'm, I'm not jealous. <laughs> and also, Mike's single. So for you gals out there who want to know about come to the Warwick Warwick Hotel, I'll buy you a drink. And uh, <laughs> for like a nice man to date, hey, he's free. He's free. so. Thanks for joining in. Tell your friends about us. America F1.